For this job, you're gonna need a trim tool, seven millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket with ratchet wrench. Either way, quarter or three eighths, whichever way you need to go, but 10 millimeter, seven millimeter and uh, trim tool. Make sure you get the trim tool because if you use a screwdriver, you're just gonna rip everything apart. Okay, Yukon Denali headlight removal, all right? Well, it's pretty simple uh, to get it started. You'll need to take off this bolt here, this bolt here, this bolt here, which will be seven millimeter. These are 10, everything else is 10, these are seven, okay? Or seven, I'm sorry, seven right here. Yeah, seven right here, 10 right here, 10, 10, 10, 10, okay? And then you have to take out the other seven right here, okay? And then you'll just basically gently pull it out. You'll see it's kind of like uh, riveted in there, riveted in, riveted in. You have to replace them back in when you put it back together, push them back in, okay? And that's to get this part of the bezel here of the headlight that sticks out. And I'll show you here on the replacement I already did. <clears throat> this right here, this piece right here is what gets caught on this part right here. So you have to pull the panel as you're pulling this all out. Now, this is not all that has to be taken apart. Okay, you got all these bolts in the front, the 10 and the seven millimeters. Then you have seven millimeters down here. I've already had them taken out. We have 10 and seven millimeters. Okay, you have to get a, uh, uh, an interior tool like this one right here. And so you can pry out the ones that you need to pry out. <clears throat> here 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 okay and then you have a seven millimeter here okay and you have another seven millimeter right here so you have two seven millimeters you have to take out once you get in the panel inside there you'll see inside here see that bolt let me light it up for you here okay see that bolt up there that bolt you're going to have to loosen about halfway out don't take it all the way out it's a pain in the butt if you take it all the way out that bolt right there see that bolt got lit up right there there it is there's the stem okay and that's what the part of the light that i'll show you in a minute here what what holds on it holds on to and that's what's going to help you slide it out okay and that's that piece right let me make sure i get my orientation right here right here that piece right here on the light itself so you can see that piece right here that that piece is where the bolt uh once you take it halfway out it will help you slide it out now, as you're sliding it out, be very careful not to damage your panel here, but it will. You just work and jimmy it out, jimmy it out. And inside, you're gonna have two wires, two wires inside for your, your headlight, deep down in there, okay? And I'm gonna show you on the back of this old headlight that I just took out, okay? Now, this company that I got it from, uh, Depot, and I will give you the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Amazon number on there uh, the website to get this headlight this headlight's awesome that I got for replacement. It's, it matches it to the t and it comes with all the bulbs inside and what had happened is a car driving on i-40 there hit me with a rock this this guy was in some kind of small kia he went mud dogging and then jumped on the freeway and uh hit my headlight with a bolt if i hadn't have swerved it would have smashed my grill so i don't know which is cheaper because to do this job at the dealership i called them seven hundred dollars seven hundred dollars this is a 2012 you couldn't know that's a seven hundred dollar job that i did for 130 okay i did the labor myself 10 millimeter seven millimeter and a prying tool a nine dollar prying tool from you can get it through advanced auto parts that's where i got mine at a, at a little shop i just pulled over to and got it there the prying tool you gotta have to get that prying tool and i'll leave a, a part number on that too because you can get a mail order but the thing about this is when you when you get this out this is the headlight lamp assembly right here where it plugs in and there's gonna be two clips on there there's gonna be a white one and a purple one take them both off okay and you need to make sure that you look at the orientation how they are because the purple one actually spreads the wires and puts them in and then the other one the white one is the retainer so you need to take both of them off and this one also has it on this one this connector right here which is for your your turn signals and your side marker lamp okay it'll have a white one and a purple one that it connects to and this clip this special little clip this special little clip goes right here now this clip will break off as soon as you pull the headlight out okay it'll break off but what you'll have to do after you get the headlight completely back in 
you'll have to reach underneath inside the well over here in the well you're gonna have to reach up 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 with your hand inside there until you feel the headlight bezel okay and you'll find that clip and then you'll reclip it in you'll know exactly what i'm talking about when you get in there there is a pocket in there once this headlight is completely flush like this that's when I could only get it to clip back in because the cable is so short that it will not clip in until this headlight is completely installed. Okay. So like I said, it's really hard to see with uh, what I have here for a camera. And it's an iPhone. It's still, it's decent. You have to reach up in there and you can feel there's a hole in there. You can feel the, uh, the back of the headlight. You just have to find the tunnel and get in there. There it is. Okay, so you'll go in the channel. Right in. Let me back up here. You'll go in the channel of the wheel well. Up in here. You'll find the channel to the headlight. And you can't miss it once you get there. In there, your hand in there. Okay? Once you get your hand up in there, you'll feel that uh, for, the, for the side marker and the turn signal. Both of those will be connected with that clip. And, and once you get that clip in there, you'll feel this piece here. You can clip it on and then everything's perfectly done all right that's pretty much it guys just remember put it all back together take your time and damage will not occur all right good luck god bless works for me to replace bulbs is pretty easy like the headlight you just turn to the left counterclockwise pull it out change your bulb out if you're just changing bulbs me i had to change out my uh my, my complete headlight assembly because of the damage and then this one you just basically turn counterclockwise you counterclockwise it's gonna fight me here there we go and that's for the uh the main uh turn signal now the side markers let's see here there's one side marker right there i think that's only one only one did y'all catch that? You turn it left, take it out. That's the side marker. I'm bad with my camera here. I'm sorry. And you just put it back in. That's your side marker there. Because when your headlight sits like that, you have your side marker. But it shows two, but I only can get to one, so it's kind of strange. Where is the other one? So you can see there's two in there. But I can't seem to get to the other one. I get to one, unless the other one's just like a... Un unchangeable these are usually 194s nl nl 194s and these are 4157 nl because they have to be yellow or or orange or whatever you call it and i'm trying to figure out how that why that's that you can't get to that one well it's right next door in there and uh this headlight assembly you can only replace one one side marker so maybe only one of them, one of them works for this headlight assembly here but, uh, I could check on my car real quick here and go turn it on. But I also wanted to make the point also that uh, what I did not state at the beginning is make sure you turn your wheel to the right or left, depending on which wheel well you're working on, to get these bolts out. Okay, so make sure that's a point here. But let's uh, let's turn on the lights real quick here. Let's see how many of these globes light up here. So, side marker globes. Well, these two work on this one. So, but like I said, this headlight comes with everything. It's made by uh, uh, this company over here. All right, through the box over here. But like I said, I will list it on the uh, video. It is a. Uh, I got it through Amazon. It's called Depo Auto Lamp Taiwan Top 20 Global Brands Company. But it's awesome, man. This uh this brand here, they gave me everything. They gave me everything. I, I went and bought the bulbs separately, the 4157s and the 194 NLs, and I didn't need them. The whole thing came for you know for my lamp here, which is all busted up right here, which I won't pass state inspection for safety, and uh, so I had to replace it. So anyway. Good luck. God bless. Works for me. Here's the two bulbs that typically go out. 194NA, which is yellow, and then also the uh, 5702NA, but you can replace it with the 3157NA, as it even states up here. 
you can use for your your vehicle's uh, turn signal. Good luck. God bless.